Do optical cables eliminate noise? Well, Chris in Colorado Springs, just south of us down here, wants to know. And he says, hey, Paul, does connecting to an external DAC using SPDIF over optical solve the noise ground sharing problem for PC audio? Also, are you all open on weekends? <laughs> hey, Chris. No, we're not. I mean, sometimes if, if, you're, if you're in town and you want to set up a special appointment to come in and visit us on weekends, once in a while, if we can find somebody to help out, we can make that arrangement. But generally, and we've done it. We've had a couple of big families that came in here and just begged and just, you know, I got, I got, you know, I got 10 people uh, coming in on town. I really want to see the place. We, we've made arrangements for someone to be here in the show, and, and we're, we will we'll, we'll bend over backwards, we'll stand on our heads, we'll eat a bug to do what we can to make it right for you so that you can make this happen. But if you can, man, show up during the week, and, and you'll have a much better time, and it makes it easier on everybody. But, hey, we'll do whatever we can. I, I'm sorry. I, somebody said... Why are you always standing in front of a P20? Well, want to know the truth? I just, I know. Some people say, looks like a microwave oven. Yeah, I don't know. I just think this is one of the prettiest, this is one of the prettiest things. I just love this piece. Anyway, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big sucker for the handles. What are we talking about? Optical cables, yes. Well, certainly. Optical cables completely disconnects the computer from the DAC. It's what we would call galvanically isolated. There's no electrical connection, no ground, no power supplies, nothing but just uh, plastic or glass. So uh, optical cables are the ultimate isolation from noise between one you know source to another having said that they generally are toslink which is the toshiba that's what toslink stands for the toshiba link t o s toshiba um, they're they're generally the the toslink plastic style which are limited usually limited to about 96 kilohertz so if you want to do high resolution audio they're not a good way to go the receivers and transmitters are usually pretty cheesy and were never made for high performance audio. The original AT&T glass cables, oh, mamma mia, hey, those were, those were some sweet interfaces. And, you know, we're, we're working on a, what we're going to call the Ted Smith signature DAC. And, and here's where Ted gets to just, Ted, you want it? You got it. So you put in what you want. And Ted's, it'll be a two, uh, a two box chassis. It's gonna be expensive, probably 20 grand. I mean, it's a lot for a DAC. It's a lot for anything, hell. But, uh, and maybe it's 30, I mean, I don't know. It's wh wh whatever it winds up being, that's what it's gonna be. And, and Ted gets to just rock and roll. And he's gonna, uh, one of the basis of what he's gonna do is have a digital chassis. So everything digital is in one box with its own power supply, its own cord. And then he's gonna have an analog box. And these will be two, you know, regular chassis like, uh, like, like Drextream, but they'll be fancier. We, we're gonna have a new design. It's gonna look really cool. I'm kind of excited about it. And, and Ted is going to connect these two new chassis, the analog versus the digital, with a single uh, way cool optical cable that, that is way beyond anything that the plastic uh, Toshiba cables are. I mean, this is, this is the real deal. This is, you know, I mean, it's going to be carrying very, very high, high frequency um, uh, signals and you'll be able to take it. I mean, this thing can go like, I want to say half a mile. That's probably exaggerating, but it can go from one end of the house to the other if you want. So you could have real isolation on that. But yeah, absolutely. Done right. Ain't nothing as good as optical. One other quick example. In our upcoming server, we're making a, a server where it will have a, you know, an isolated computer inside of the box. It'll be a single box, hard drive, computer, and a digital lens output stage. But one of the things that we're doing is 
c offering complete isolation from the computer in exactly the way that you were describing. So internal to the new PS Audio server, the Octave server, whatever we're going to call it, there will be multiple glass fibers that connect the noisy computer part of it to the ultra clean and quiet analog output stage. And why analog? Because a server is going to put out digital, right? Well, we use analog switching and switches inside that don't saturate and don't latch up. So it really is analog. Same thing Ted does. I mean, we got the idea from Ted. There's different kinds of logic. And if you use the kind that we use, it's, it's actually, they're actually high-speed analog circuits that, that don't go up and hold up there and saturate so that we can have uh, good control over our jitter so that we know when it's coming out of its one state and going down to its zero state. But that's for a whole different conversation. Great question. Thank you for asking it, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.